Today I will be calling Cable. My name is Wilkar Meyer and I'm your Elliott Wave Analyst, reviewing what has been and predicting what is likely to be in Cable price action. So I thought we'd just uh, quickly recap where we are. Uh, since 2009, I believe that uh, the pound has been making a triangle. I believe we're in the E wave of that triangle right here. Okay. And zooming in, that was a monthly chart, by the way. And I zooming into a 270 minute chart. This is that E wave. We've had A, B, and 1, 2, 3. Now the question remains, is this going to end up being an impulse or is this going to be a diagonal? Well, in order for this thing to be a diagonal, it's going to have to come back into the price territory of wave 1. And because now 3 turned out to be longer than 1, 4 will have to be longer than 2, and that happens at 53.91, 1.5391. So I believe price action is going to, if it's going to be a diagonal, move into this zone, if you will. I think it'll probably find support at 53.20, but definitely move below 53.91 if it's going to be a diagonal. And then you'll see the fifth wave be longer than the third wave. Okay, so it's going to be a little something like that. And as you can see, that puts us, if longer, if, if the fifth wave is going to be longer, that would put us right at the back end of the projected retrace zone that I've discussed in previous videos, okay, which is at 158.45. Now, if this is going to be a impulse, it would have to not get into the price territory of one. Uh, the only question is, or the, the the main thought in my mind is, corrections tend to stay in a channel. So for this to stay in a channel and be an impulse, you'd probably see it do something like this. You know, it's going to move predominantly sideways, most likely in a triangle. Oops. Until it would hit the back end, you know, of the channel and then explode up in a fifth wave. That's possible. I think it's going to be more likely that you're going to see a move down uh, into the price territory of one and then a longer wave up, predominantly staying within the channel, perhaps breaking out at the very end. That would be characterized as a false break because shortly thereafter we'd probably see a dramatic move in the short direction. So. Uh, the time is 2 o'clock. My broker's feed, I don't think, has opened yet. Or it will shortly. Um, but anyway, that's it for now. We'll see what's going to happen. The trade setup that I see coming, if it's a diagonal, we're going to wait for price action to get below 53.91 enter somewhere in this zone and then when the fourth wave is over uh, we would put a stop loss at the terminus of wave two and exit the trade when wave five is longer than three and when that gets closer to setup I'll go ahead and put out a tweet at calling cable that will give the exact information of uh, approximately where to enter where to take your loss and take your profit that's today's call. I hope you'll join me again for tomorrow's call.